clown, clown. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. It's Jamoris Cherry. Back at it again with another video. I haven't posted in a while. It's a month since I last posted. I don't know. But a part came in the mail yesterday. And it was my clutch. I don't know if you can see that. But my clutch came in the mail yesterday. I didn't even get a chance to open it. And I also realized I never introduced my car to you guys, but I mentioned it in a previous video. But without further ado, here's my 1990 Mazda Miata. Before talking about my car and discussing my goals for it and everything I've done to it in this past month, um, I'd like to just unbox this so it won't be sitting in my lap and in the way. bearing, pilot bearing, yeah, that looks really good, already lubricated, nice. Six puck clutch. You can smell. It smell it smells good. Which is weird. But I didn't even know that I ordered a six puck, but I'm kind of glad I did. Um, I'll be doing an installation video on that probably for you guys in the next video. But I'm gonna put this away and then I'll catch you up on my car. So, I removed the motor from my car already. It's sitting on an engine stand over there. I also bought a separate motor that was used from a junkyard. This ran me like 300 bucks. I pulled it out and I took my head from my old motor and I put on my new motor. And I checked out the bottom end of my new one because my older one spun a bearing. The bottom of the new motor looks pretty good, but I'm really not sure about it. Um, hopefully, fingers crossed that it's fine and everything's good and I can just drop it in and plug everything back in, put all the hoses back, connect it to the trans, all that good stuff, and be riding in within three weeks. Um, after I put it back in, all I'll need is fluids and work with a little bit of wiring with my fuel pump because I was kind of dealing with that beforehand and that's about it plans for my car okay so the plans that I have are to use it as my daily right now because it's my only car but I kind of want to make a little bit of power so I don't know if I want to go ITBs 
with naturally aspirated or I want to go forced induction and get a turbo. But turbo is most likely my goal because I always want a turbo Miata. My power goal is that I want to fall like 250 wheel, but I'll be nice, I'll be happy with 200 because it's still a Miata, it's lightweight, it's like 2100 pounds. So it's not too heavy whatsoever. With looks, I'm probably going to keep it relatively stock, but I like a little stance look, so I'm probably going to get some coilovers and possibly get new wheels, but I kind of like the wheel setup I have now, but the tire's a little too big for clearance and all that. I've had this car for about three years. It was my first car, so I got kind of sentimental value because it's kind of the car that got me started. And I kind of been wanting one forever since like I was four years old, which sounds lame, but I love Miatas. I'm gonna end it up probably painting the valve cover, painting the wheels because it has road rash from the previous owner. It came off of a 240 SX, and that will be a start. So. My next video is going up are probably going to be valve cover, which leave down in comments what you think about the valve cover, what color it should be before I put it on the engine. So I'm probably going for blue, but I also been thinking about yellow. But tell me what you guys think, blue or yellow. Mention that in the comments below. But that's about it. Hopefully the car will be up and running. I've been waiting too long. It's been down since January 3rd of 2018, so last year. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, thanks for watching. Add me on Snapchat at jcherry.27. I post on there a lot. I don't post much on Instagram, but I post on Snapchat every day. So give me an ad on Snapchat for early release of information because I post everything on there even though I don't try to but I'll see you guys in the next video